Hello, welcome to my alternative channel, Anti-War. And on Anti-War, we have a mix. And today's mix-up is Don Q. Gold, introduced in 1865, their gold rump. And this gold rump is a blend of rums, age one and a half at the minimum to five years max. So age one and a half to five years. I got this huge handle bottle, glass too, no plastic. I got a great deal in this a couple of years ago. For it was actually last year around Mardi Gras time. Thirteen ninety nine during Carnival time. Thirteen ninety nine. Can you imagine what a deal? Uh, then the inflation took off. The results of inflation took off, and then okay. Pepsi, I did get a good deal in this. I got a 12-pack for $4.33. So this is the original Pepsi made with real sugar. Not normally seen. Most of the Pepsi Cola, this is Pepsi Cola made with real sugar. Most of the Pepsi Cola you see is called Pepsi, and it's made with high fructose corn syrup. Yes, that is true. But I did find this. How's it going to mix with a gold rum? Well, I'm not sure, but I'm about to find out. Oh, that's enough for my purposes. Don Q from Distillaria Serralis. Oh, yeah, that's more than enough. Very pale gold. I noticed that their gold rum is very pale. doesn't look like they're adding color to it. The coloring, can't say for sure, but it doesn't look like it. And then we know what Pepsi. Mm, nice, sweet sugar cane. So sugar on top of sugar. I don't know. Pepsi Cola made with real sugar. Getting ready to go watch the National Football League. I hope it's a lot of football and not any socialism. But you know how they are. <clears throat> Pretty good cocktail. A pretty simple cocktail, but it's good. But if you ever drink Pepsi with made with real sugar, you'll never buy a regular. If you ever drink Pepsi Cola made with, with real sugar, you'll never buy Pepsi again. It used to be called Pepsi Cola, but they changed the name to simply Pepsi in 1963, according to their website. And I didn't realize that Pepsi Co was a company formed from a merger of Pepsi Cola and Frito Lay in the mid 1960s. Mid 1960s. I didn't know that. I know in the 1970s, Pepsi bought Taco Bell. They later on bought Pizza Hut. And then um, they bought um, Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. They spun it off into its own company called uh, Yum Brands. But if you notice, Yum Brands only carries Pepsi products. I believe A and I believe A and W restaurants is also part of Yum Brands. Sometimes you'll you'll see a pizza a restaurant that's half Pizza Hut. You know, Pizza Hut on one side and KFC on the other, or one of those combinations. Just like in this town, they've got a combo restaurant. It's Dunkin' Donuts on one side and Baskin Robbins on the other. Because Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins united into a single company. Whew. 
Well, it's very good. Well, you can look at the PepsiCo website and find out more about all of what they own. The Don Q website will show you some of what they own, <laughs> at least. Oh, very carbonate. Can't drink it too fast. All right. Thanks, everybody. So we'll give this an A. And uh, you always want to pour the liquor first and then the cola on top or the orange drink on top or the ginger ale on top. You understand? All right. Thanks. And y'all take care. And I'm going to now jump back onto the main channel.